broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. Will there be a Game 7? If there is, we'll be there Friday in Phoenix. Coverage begins with NBA countdown at 8, tip off shortly after 9 Eastern. Meanwhile, challenge unsuccessful as George will move alive. Bridges picks up his second foul. My mistake, this was clearly a two-pointer, not a three-pointer. Two free throws for Paul George. His first free throws of the night. As we send it to Rachel. You guys were talking before about Paul George and his energy level. He came into this game not just having played the most postseason minutes in the NBA at 735. It's that the closest guy behind him was 130 minutes back. That means, yeah, sometimes Paul is tired out there, but he told me that former leg injury he suffered playing for Team USA back in 2014, it inadvertently prepared him for games like this. He said he lost a little bit of his game when that happened. He'll never be the player he used to be, but it forced him to learn how to squeeze out more from less, as he put it, the shortcuts, the little physical tricks that you break out when your body just won't go. And even more so, Mike, how to push through mentally when your body isn't doing what you want it to. We'll have to see if we see that in this second half. Thank you, Rachel. Chris Paul with a foul, and Reggie Jackson makes the move. And there you see the numbers that Rachel was talking about. It certainly didn't impact the Paul in game five. He had a crown jewel performance. But they don't need one here in the second half. He had 30 points, 30 of the 41 in the second half in game five. It's the burden of being a max player. You have to play big minutes, and you have to produce, particularly with Kawhi Leonard out. It's an every night responsibility. Can you imagine if we did that to LeBron James with the amount of minutes he's played, not just this year, but his career attached to the team he's facing or any other individual? The demand is high up for great. Well, with all great players, the criticism can be harsh when you underwhelm. Jackson hits the free throw. Jackson now with 13 points. And I've heard that, that he faces Paul George. Undue, harsh criticism. And I just don't see it in print media. Now, talk show hosts, yeah, they're going to say stuff. But if you're going on to social media for either validation and affirmation or even taking criticism from them, I don't understand why a player would go on social media. I don't see how that benefits you. That's that's today's younger generation. No, but all pro athletes. Well, not just let's just not say all pro athletes. Announcers look too, and they're affected at times. It's it's just the way the society is. No, but why would you go on there if you know it's 90% negative? As Paul hits a mid ranger, why would you go on? Now the other end, Terrence Mann, blocked by Booker. Ball kept alive goes to Jackson. Clippers reset. George just seven points so far. Gets the pass inside to Marcus Morris. Morris tied up against the Nice little fake up and under. Sweet move for Marcus Morris. He's got 15. He leads the Clippers in scoring so far. Booker finds Bridges. Bridges to Crowder. Crowder's been hot. That continues. Jay Crowder is fifth three-pointer. He's the Suns leading score. He was looking at the sideline. He just four went in. He felt it. And George fouled on his way to the basket. You know when a guy is playing with confidence and has a rhythm and figured it out. And leaving him wide open. Late contest. Follow through release and stand out on the sideline. Now, that's their first three-pointer, obviously, here in the second half. One of the bizarre stats in this series. In the previous two games, games four and five, the Suns have a total of one three-point field goal in the second half of both those two games. That's incredible in today's NBA, especially a team that shoots the three well. One three-pointer in the previous two games in the second half. You just show the volatility of the three-point shot. You pointed out coming into the night, 26% from three. Tonight, five for seven, 71%. Yeah. 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 Paul using 
the eight and screen. eight has got Terrence Mann on him. Double team back out. Bridges. Bridges a three. Way off. This is where Paul George's got to get more aggressive in transition. Got Chris Paul on him now. Beverly. Back out to Terrence Mann. Man drives, gets inside, layup, missed it. Aiton the rebound, nearly knocked out of his hands. Nine boards for DeAndre Aiton. Crowder, dangerous pass. Bridges finally lost it inside the eight and was wrapped up by Jackson. That's going to be the first team foul against the Clippers. Only their seventh foul the entire game. A reminder, don't miss your shot to win the ultimate NBA All-Star experience during every game of the conference finals, plus a chance to win NBA prizes with tonight's special code, text CLOCK to 55678 or enter it at nba.com slash win and you could win big. Ball to eight in a crowd. Eight lays it up and in. Nice soft touch from the big man. Chris Paul threw it high and then eight and kept it high. Jackson to man. Now Morris. Terrence Mann given some room. Can't get it the ball. DeAndre Ayton with yet another playoff double double. 12 points, 10 boards. Chris Paul, a little shake and bait. Elbow jumper missed it. Booker is guarding Morris. Morris wants the ball, wants the post up. There's the pass. Double team out to man. Terrence Mann, the drive blocked by Crowder for the foul. And that's four fouls on Jay Crowder. A very important part of their defense. And he's going to have to sit down. And he's upset, and so is Chris Paul. They look at DeAndre Ayton. He's on the weak side. He's got to come over. What are you holding on to Morris for? Does not force man to get rid of the basketball, gives him a direct line drive. That's going to bring Torrey Craig back in. Craig played 12 minutes in the first half. A solid job defensively is this is the free throw. But you know, in this situation, he's got to trust that somebody will get his man. Help to help him. Yeah, Aiton should have pulled over. Chris Paul sinks down to his man, and it 